Brian Nylander uh, from the Jeep Design Studio back in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I want to talk to you about the 75th anniversary. Before they do that, though, I want to talk to you about Jeep design and uh, Jeep from a designer's perspective. Um, you know, we've been around for 75 years now, and uh, a lot has evolved. Um, over the course of the next few days, you're going to hear myself, uh, Brad, and some of the others talk about Jeep and talk about Jeep as a family. It's really a family of vehicles. Uh, a lot of people think, you know, it's just really an off-road brand. Um, but you can see this is a great example behind me. Uh, you see all the examples from the Wrangler over to the Grand Cherokee. Um, it's a true spread of vehicles and different types of vehicles. So on one side of the family, uh, you know, this is sort of the, the big brother over here. This is the Wrangler. This is the icon. This is our heritage. This is where we started. It's the true uh, off-road, hardcore side of the brand. And then it goes through the rest of the brand. Obviously, you get down to the Grand Cherokee then. That's really the more sophisticated side of the brand, um, the more luxury side the premium side and you know in between those two vehicles is a wide range of space and that's where all the other vehicles that fall in there uh, Cherokee Renegade obviously Renegade's a little bit more towards the the Wrangler side sort of the fun and funky side um, but they all share that same core Jeep DNA and value um, now you know the Jeeps will all look different each model looks different from the other a few similarities here and there there's always two constants that remain in all Jeeps uh, this is a great example. I love having all the Jeeps lined up here behind me. Uh, first and foremost, the Jeep grill, the seven slot grill. It's religion for us. You'll never see a Jeep without it. We'll always have it. It'll always look a little bit different. Obviously the Wrangler grill is different from a Cherokee grill, which is different from a Grand Cherokee grill. Um, they're all unmistakably Jeep though. The second thing, trapezoidal wheel flares. Again, it's religion for us. It relates back to the original Willys MV. Um, you look at that front fender, the flat fender on it, it had that squared off profile to it. You'll never see a Jeep with a round wheel flare on it, I promise you. So uh, with that, I wanna jump into the 75th. Um, some of you may remember the 70th anniversary Jeeps from a few years ago. Um, those, re we really looked back to our heritage side and towards uh, sort of the, the original Jeeps. Um, we looked back at the military inspiration um, primarily also in military dress and military garb. We looked at, you know, military uniforms, the colors that came out of that, the materials. So it was a more sort of retro look at what Jeep was. For 75th, we wanted to go the other way. It needed to look towards the future of Jeep. It needed to be more progressive. Um, so we turned the designers loose. We had no idea what the theme wanted to be. Told the guys, just start researching. If you know it needs to be progressive, what should it be? Um, so a lot of the guys started, they looked at this culture that started to develop uh, shortly after World War II. A lot of these vets were coming back. They had used Jeeps in the war. Um, they brought them back to the States. They knew how fun they were. They knew how capable they were. And they saw more of the, uh, the recreational side of it. And so they started buying these Jeeps and they started outfitting them. They started uh, you know, modifying them. And they would use them not only for off-roading, uh, but they would use them for, you know, I, I call it sort of early adventure sports, um, hiking, camping, um, you know, going off into the wilderness, uh, fishing, things like that. And we started looking at the imagery that evolved out of that. And you see a lot of the, the colors that were used in the products that they used, the tents, um, you know, the shoes, all the equipment they used. There was this sort of uh, muted sort of earthy colors that, that they all shared, sort of these drab olive greens. Um, dark blues, grays, uh, sort of uh, um, low contrast browns. And uh, then you would see they also paired this with these sort of patinaed metals, these very warm, almost anodized looking metals. And then they would always accent it with these bright pieces. So you'd see like bright greens, bright oranges, bright yellows, things like that. Um, so then, you know, researching this, we realized, well, that was really sort of the, the beginning of sort of the, the adventure sort of sports uh, culture and you see that uh, true today when you start looking at um, equipment you know especially hiking equipment um, uh, ski equipment fishing things like that you know I'm looking at the crowd here and I see um, some sort of uh, very muted colors but then with accents of green things like that in fact I had a pair of shoes on earlier today I should have worn them tonight um, these sort of tan shoes but they have orange accents in them so we use that as the inspiration uh, for the color breakup of the 75th so you look at uh, you know these models all behind us. These are the greens that we came up with. 
Um, the Wrangler side of the family has this it's called Sarge Green, so it's a little bit muted, uh, sort of a military look to it, um, but it's somewhat downplayed. If you look at the Renegade, we call this Jungle Green. So, you know, the Renegade is the fun side of the Jeep brand. We pumped up the color a little bit in that one. And then you get onto the Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee side of the family, and we call this Recon Green. And it's a very sort of dark, sophisticated green. Um, in certain lights, it almost comes across black, but you're kind of pleasantly surprised when you get that right, you know, tone of light, and you see the green come through. Um, so each vehicle, they each get their own color lineup for exterior colors. They're all a little bit different from each other. Renegade, for instance, gets a lot of bright, I, I won't call it uh, more vibrant colors on that muted side. Um, the Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee, they both get this sort of uh, more sophisticated color palette. Um, so we got those body colors, but then we also accented some of the, um, the more functional bits of the cars, the vehicles, uh, with this bronze look. So you'll see the wheels, you'll see the bumpers, um, even the, the 75th badges, they have this low gloss bronze uh, look to them. It's got this sort of warm metallic patina to it. And then we've also taken this bright orange, so that's kind of the, the accent that we threw at the vehicles. And uh, you'll see the orange come through, especially on the Wrangler and the Renegade. It really pops, especially on the badges. Uh, you'll see some of the interior stitching has that same accent to it. Uh, same thing on the Cherokee. When you get down to the Grand Cherokee then, we actually downplayed the orange on that. Because again, the Grand Cherokee is that more sophisticated, refined side of the family. So we tried to downplay the orange a little bit in that. So 